Admiral Aaron Bobby, it's a great honor for me to be invited to here to give a speaking. Uh, it's huge thanks for the UNESCO and the Chinese Education Department to organize this fantastic conference. Now I will begin our speaking. My title is Alternative <coughs> Culture in Mainland China, Transition, Opportunity, and the Alternative Media. My name, uh, my name is Jing Cao, Professor of Media Sociology and Quaker Communication Theory, and Associate Director of the Center for International Publishing <coughs> Studies at Fudan University School of Journalism in Shanghai, China. I set up the co-teaching program of Media and Gender Studies in 2004. I have been invited by some famous scholars to Fudan to do this job with me together, such as Harvard Professor. Rodney Epps and uh, Michigan University Professor Lady Cox. Now, I will tell you, in recent 13 years, I keep up doing my field work in the southwest of China and the east of China. You can look at my map, Chinese map. Kunming is the south, is the capital city of Yunnan province. Chengdu is the capital city of Sichuan province. Both of the cities are located in the southwest of China. And I also go to Qingdao. Oh, Qingdao is the top city in Shandong province. My third work area focuses on media and gender and sexual anti. I will introduce some terms of gay and lesbian in mainland China. Lesbian this term is an international term. It has been westernized, commercialized. It belongs to sexual minority people identity. It uses the internet transnational network. But the Chinese lesbian don't call themselves lesbian. They call themselves lama. It is no cartoon, but has been stigmatized by the modern society and the traditional culture. It belongs to sexual minority people's self-identity. It uses in the bars, salon, hotline. But in Chinese ancient literature, there are a lot of words focused on grind mirror. What is a grind mirror? It means two women touch their body, each other, it is local term, age is local term, belong to sexual behavior, not means sexual identity. <laughs> it used used to the vulva. In the 30 years, I went to Chengdu. Chengdu Lala just calls themselves grind soda milk. It is also local term. It belongs to sexual behavior, not self-identity. It uses in private space. But after 1980s, there is another term, Tongzhi. <coughs> it is national term. It has been politicized in the modern society. And it is used, it is, it is used in internet, gay and lesbian organizations. Tongzhi means comrade. I will give further explanation in the next step. And uh, I also want to introduce the gay term in mainland China to everyone. I, I go to Chengdu. Chengdu gay just calls himself Piao Piao. What is Piao Piao? It means wandering man, wandering where, wandering who. We will ask the question. Wandering from the family structure wandering from the heterosexual people. It is a local term and has been stigmatized in the modern society and the traditional family culture. It is also sexual minority self-identity. It is used use in the cruising places. And sometimes, Piao Piao calls itself I'm a Jiaoren. What is a Jiaoren? It means entangled with somebody. But it signifies the sexual relationship. It means you have this, you have sexual 
serve relationship with somebody. And Gay also calls himself Tongzhi. It is national term and criticized in modern society by modern society and uses in the internet and gay organization. Gay, Chinese gay don't call themselves gay, they call themselves Tongzhi. <coughs> they want to resist the Western forces. And it is also international game, international term, and they have been westernized, commercialized, and belong to sexual minority self-identity. It use, uses in the internet and uh, transnational network. But some doctors, especially medical era experts, don't call gay or call Tongzhi. They call a Chinese gay use this word, use this term, MSN. It means man sexual with the man. It is international term, especially in medical discourse. It just means same-sex behavior. It doesn't mean any identity. It, use in, it uses in the hidden side. And we want to know where is the queer space? So I will introduce the production of queer space to everyone. Traditional space is in the chair houses, public WC park and home. Commercialized space focused on gay bars and lesbian or lana bars. Permit sized space focused on health clubs, gay organizations, and salon and foreign, and so on. Allow new media is emerging and help all gay and lesbians to struggle for the right uh, every day. The term Tongzi is now a common way of addressing home teachers in the, in the Chinese speaking world, suggesting that the Chinese have to some deeply revise the usual understanding of home teacher as defined in the West. As described by Zhu Hua Sen, the term Tongzi, Kamri, does not in all sex. It refers to noble as well as politicized idea which means of the same will, of the sharing of the same belief, with the expectation of achieving a society conversation. It does not contain the negative implications of excessive sexuality, sexual abnormality, or femininity in terms, which are frequently found in conventional discourse on homosexuality. The term Tongzi desexualizes the homosexual relationship forcefully rejecting dominant media representations of gays and lesbians, but the term does not really deny sexual affair in all the, as the term still keeps the character term home, which is also the same character in the Chinese term homosexual homosexuality. By echoing Sun Yat-sang's famous stating, revolution has yet to succeed, and the word comrade, Hongzhi, must, be, must still work hard. The term signifies a local and moving political ethos. The term Tongzi originally referred to the top members who sacrificed their blood and life for the revolutionary cause. Nowadays, this original local being has been displaced. The character Zhu means will, has turned into something like homosexual crowd should not be discriminated and homosexuals should still share to law. As a consciousness political practice, the term Tongzhi transcends the terrain of sexual orientation, be it heterogeneous or homosexual, and the represents a subjectivity of counter identity and counter labor. It is a political strategy which could only be implemented through a definition and the definition by living experience. It transcends the conventional to empty between home versus people. Thus speaking to a political identity that optimizes a world of calm well-being. Uh, Chinese Nana is going to talk to the girl is in Chengdu. She established the Nana Bar for almost 10 years. And uh, she's very brave. She can against the family structure and resist the parents 
uh, ask her to get married with with some uh, with one boy. Now, and in past years, uh, she participated in the TV program, Felix TV program, to talk about her very interesting story. I will give an uh, example. Uh, my example focus on autonomous leader. Uh, I would I go to Qingdao. There is a friend exchange alternative organization, a <laughs> monthly journal that is now publicly circulated and aimed at its promotion, was founded by Bei Chuan, Bei Chuan Zhang, a professor at the School of Medicine, Qingdao University. Is there by constitutes a case of alternative media. This media product that serves directly the big committee with a leadership of over 100 thousand has by far received the continuous funding from the Forte Foundation. But in 2008, Forte Foundation changed their supporting orientation, so stopped this program. Uh, he is uh, Dr. Zhang <coughs> uh, he was working in his office. He got a lot of letters from the whole country, even include Taiwan, Hong Kong, and the USA. All these and these things, those letters to him to talk about their own very real life stories. It is very real, very dear uh, letters in China. Some volunteers <coughs> were working with him. The office for the Friend Exchange Program was at a small room of 15 square meters affiliated to the School of Medicine. It was only in August 2000. Seven were founding from the Forty Foundation was received that the office was located to an office building near the hospital. The two non medical staff <coughs> members that work in the office are responsible for routine office administration such as typing, replying emails, writing letters, and answering phone calls. There are ten volunteers on regular terms for the program, which an annual cost of 370,000 yuan. In case of problems, the team will respond swiftly with efficient self-management. For instance, the comment club on the website in January 2005 was attacked by the advertisement box and had to be closed. For this, Bei Chuan Zhang immediately posted a personal statement on friend exchange condemning the hacker's attack on the website. Since its initial publication in 1998, the research has already exceeded 1 million. The project was aimed at not only effective prevention of HIV AIDS, but also respecting the difference of the gay and lesbian community, safeguarding their culture and equal participation and articulation of rights, so as to, see, to release social justice. He was working and he always talking with the volunteer to help them overcome difficulties. In his office, a lot of uh, friend exchange will be uh, distributed to the whole country. So, I think Bei Chen Zhang is over constructing a public sphere for the gay community in mainland China. We can see by the official media organizations we can find this with GDP, but there is still bittersweet victory. Highlights are cycles for the process of changing. He <laughs> criticized in 1997 and the her so much eyes in 2001, but there is still a very serious situation because a lot of gay and Chinese gay and, and lesbian um, cannot get the right. Uh, in the modern society. Consequently, the legalization of the homosexuality is ultimately a very ambiguous process in all we mix the messages about discrimination, stigma, AIDS, quanta AIDS, AIDS. And there is a right, the rising internal debates, service delivery versus rights advocacy, government dominated versus community center, center versus peripheral. Out of the 9,000 journals granted ISBN by general administration for press and publication, there is no magazine 
that is specifically targeting the land consumption demands from the gay and lesbian community. Multiculturalism, this core principle in competition, is to secure a love discriminatory representation in media by the right to communication. For me, the production of alternative media in China is an effective supplement to the absence of attention in mainstream media and during the monopoly of commercialization. This helps to revise the lateral Habermas' notion of public sphere by including multiculturalist equality external to bureaucracy and institutions in the 21st century China, sexual everybody.